Today I will tell us tell the nineteenth part of my story, the blue Rafflesia. The blue Rafflesia, the indicator of uranium. Jantas professor reveals that blue Rafflesia is the original Rafflesia, altered by uranium radiation. Blue Rafflesia plants are hard to find due to the requirement of high radiation exposure required for their transformation. The radiation emitted by Blue Rafflesia requires 5.74 gigatons of uranium. That means it also indicates that the presence of Blue Rafflesia in any place indicates that there is a minimum of 5.74 gigatons of uranium. So that is what uh, the presence of blue rafflesia indicates. Blue rafflesia has been found in Shimdipal and Andaman Islands in recent years, as I have already told in my initial parts of the story. That indicates a significant amount of uranium is present in India, which can be converted into energy. And that energy can supply to each and every household of India. Not only in India, if we combine India and China, it can supply all the households of both the countries. The amount of uranium that is expected expected to be present in the places where blue rafflesia is seen. If there is blue rafflesia means 5.74 gigatons of uranium is present because without that a common rafflesia cannot be transformed into blue rafflesia. Okay and if you are seeing blue rafflesia it means there are 5.74 gigatons of uranium in that location. So, in the initially, Professor Bhattacharya, the supervisor of Jayanta, was analyzing this occurrence of blue Rafflesia, which he originally thought that is a false, is a fake thing. But when there are reports of blue rafflesia bloom from not only one, two places in India, one in Aldawal and one in Shimpal. He, be, he becomes serious uh, and he starts to investigate. And he, the result of his investigation, I have already told you. Now, what happens that, as we all know from part 18, that our three musketeers, Raj, Tahit, and Inspector Kamej, has visited to Shibri Fall Reserve Forest and was staying in a resort. So they are actually, they are also involved in the case of Blue Rafflesia. So actually, the higher authority of Govej, Mr. Govej, who is an inspector in uh, Calcutta or Kolkata, he was directed by his higher authorities to look into this case of Dura Plesia. And as Raja Rohit is superb in such type of cases, he at first approaches them about this. But it was not official, it was unofficial. But well, the call was received by uh, Gobej from his higher authorities in Delhi. And that higher authority asks them, asks Inspector Govej to bring Rajal Rohit along with himself while they will visit in the IB office of Revelation. They were actually instructed to visit the IB office of Revelation because from Shilipal they will go to Revelation and from Revelation they will take a flight and go back to the Calcutta. But before that they were instructed to visit the IB office of Revelation. Okay, so once they arrive in the IB office, they are greeted by a feeble voice. And before that, they see that in that 
IV office reception. Four board parcels are present. And we all know three of them. One is Mr. Patlaika, and another one is Mr. Makji, who was actually uh, investigating that case that we have discussed earlier in this story, where a tiger was accused to kill a gag of mafia. Okay, so if you have already forgotten that, then kindly go to that part, part six, and you read it again. You will get it in here only, in idle, different release letter. So what happened is we need to introduce wall board parcel. So uh, use wall board parcel. So the this parcel is a little bit strange. His name is Bhuvash Madhavan, and he is a image investigator. Actually, he knows image processing. He is an expert in it, both in software through a software or without software. He can process an image and retrieve what the image wants to tell. So suppose if there is an image and there is a picture of uh, top view picture of a pond, and you see that pond is uh, represented by dark blue color, then you can rest assured that that pond has a higher depth compared to those points, points who are being represented by light and color. So this, this trick or this mystery is known to this Dr. Metapan. He also knows that in, in any image, if some place is, is looking brighter compared to other, then that place is higher to higher compared to other places. So I am talking about only top view images that we see a plane, an aeroplane takes a image of, uh, of the land below it. Those are known as top view images. So I am only talking about top view images, not the side view or front view or uh, those images. So he was there. So actually there are, uh, as I can say, there are Raj, Rahit, Kovic, Patlaika, Bakchi, and Kubaj Patlaika. So there are in total six persons. And in the reception, this hello, I, I, I mistake, I, I mistook, or I forget to mention about Mr. Jalta. He is also there. He is the student of Professor Bhattacharya, who has uh, identified the relation between blue of Russia and presence of nuclear. Okay, let us come back to our story. Yes, the female boys or the person who was guiding this six uh, several male uh, to their assignment is known as Malisha. Malisha is a is a liaison officer between these seven individuals and a confidential assignment. So she took the team. Uh, first of all, she called the team to her room and from her room, he took the team to a lift and that lift took them to their meeting room where the discussion will be, uh, the discussion will be done between the seven person and Professor Vattajarja and also some other people. There will be a meeting, it is confidential, it is classified. So about that meeting, we will discuss in the next part of my story. So this video is just an introduction to part 19 of my story on the Blue Reflection. I will suggest or I will recommend you to go through the story and then if you like it, kindly like, press like or if you want to subscribe it and be a follower of this story, then kindly do so.